Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, joined by Triad Ninja for some more select coverage of CES 2016. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Razer Stargazer webcam, which for $200 offers you a lot of fancy technology to plug this right into your computer and start Twitch streaming with a, you know, a, a green screen or a blue screen, zoomed in, tracking your head motions, and not having to fiddle with any secondary software in order to get all this to work. And as somebody who has had to work out a lot of that stuff for both YouTube and soon his own Twitch streaming, that's something that is probably appealing to a whole lot of people out there on the web who either don't have access to these tools, because they can be rather expensive, or they just don't have the skills or the knowledge in order to go out and utilize that because not everyone who's ever made a YouTube video is the most technical person out on the planet. So the whole idea is you plug it in, you've got the ability to automatically green screen, it automatically zooms in on you, and it'll automatically track your head motions so that you don't have to worry about, you know, getting out of center of the camera so it clips you off at the nose. Like, there's all sorts of things that could be handy with. And Triad, you've made some video stuff before. What do you think about this? As someone who doesn't necessarily know how to edit videos like I do, and who hasn't worked on a set for a, a music video doing green screening. I've done green screening before, but in this in this sense, I would have, I think I could say I'd have the technical skills to be able to do something like this with like other software and like an actual webcam. But the nice thing, it's not just for people who don't have the technical skills or you know, stuff like that. It's also for people who want to be lazy, who just don't want to put the effort into doing all that extra stuff. And since it all just does it for you, just, you know, throw it on top of your computer and just start going playing Twitch. Because that's, at the end of the day, that's kind of what a lot of Twitch streamers just want to do is just, you know, turn their stuff on just real quick. Don't have to worry about loading up a bunch of other crap or whatever. Just throw it all on real quick, throw on a game and just start streaming away and talking with their viewers and all that. So I, I think it's a fantastic product and hopefully it becomes cheaper over time so that we and you know, better and more refined so that, you know. But so the whole idea here is that, you know, if you if you need something that works now, it'll get cheaper later. But if you need it now, you can pay $200 and you don't have to worry about it. And for the most part, I mean, one little hang up in your technological workflow and your whole afternoon, your whole weekend, your whole, you know, evening or morning or whatever of streaming or recording for YouTube, Suddenly there's a giant monkey wrench in it because you've got to sit down, troubleshoot what's wrong, try to figure out through a tutorial or calling somebody or sitting on a forum waiting for help how to fix something. So that's a pretty good solution. Although $200 kind of steep, but I mean, it does a lot of the work for you. So perhaps I could understand, but hey, this will get cheaper over time because again, real sense technology, fairly new, but dropping in price as people start to utilize it. So. That's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. We've been taking a look at some hands-on footage from the CES 2016 Razer Stargazer webcam. And, well, it looks like it is actually pretty perfect for streamers on Windows 10 and probably also Mac and older operating systems as well. So I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra, joined by Triad Ninja. We'll catch you again next time for some more stuff and things and tutorials and all of that shenanigans, and uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Toodles, everybody.